This game is NBA 2K, a top of the line high budget basketball game played by millions of players. It honestly doesn't get any more top of the line than this. However, we have a problem. Chris Move number 24 needs to get past Steph Curry number 30 so he can score, and I assure you that he does. But how do you think he does it? Does he A, get a teammate to set a pick and roll for him, or B, do a crazy unfathomable crossover on Steph Curry, tricking him to go the other way? Post your guess in the comments below if you're daring. Pause the video if you need to, but here comes the answer. Are you ready? The answer is none of the above. <laughs> Chris Move just has to rely on the game's wonky animations that causes Steph Curry to do some crazy unrealistic behavior that essentially just lets Chris Move tiptoe right past him. Now, I don't know if you know this about me or not, but I love the game of basketball. It's one of my favorite exercises. And now look, I understand that this is just a video game, but stuff like this is just unacceptable. This kind of stuff doesn't make you feel good. It only inspires you to roll your eyes as hard as you possibly can, which is exactly why I believe old games like NBA Jam and the NBA Street Series are perfect basketball games. Both respectively are basketball plus arcade. Mwah, chef's kiss. But you know something I've never seen before? Basketball plus RPG. Nerds, I bet you're interested in sports now. And you know what? I've been teaching myself to code since I was 13 years old. And honestly, I've been dreaming of moments like this, where I can flex my skills and say, I'm going to dream up the ultimate basketball game and have you know that I'm making it myself. No. I'm not kidding, let's get jiggy. Here's the design concept that I mocked up in Photoshop. It takes something like Fire Emblem, but adds a basketball and makes scoring the goal. Now I tried a bunch of different genre mixing with basketball games, and strategy just seems to be the best fit, but <laughs> what do I know? I might be a bit biased, I, I love strategy, y'all just gotta deal with it. <laughs> I I'm gonna get to work now. And after a few hours of playing around, a game started to take form. But I've been playing with this engine for a bit now and I think I have a, I think I have a clear idea on where I wanna take this project. Check this out. So as you see here, we have the basketball court that's represented as a grid, which just makes it easier for players to understand what's going on on the court and to build strategies around it. And each turn, the player will be able to choose if they wanna move or shoot, do a crossover steal. You get the point. And depending on a few variables, like the player's distance from the goal, proximity to the opponent, the character stats, and things like this, you will get a success probability for things like, like your chance for making a shot, for stealing the ball, etc, etc, etc. It's not a fully fleshed out idea yet, but without a doubt, it's tactical basketball. Now, I don't know about you, but this pitch just sounds fun to me. You already understand the game of basketball, maybe even like loosely, and now you're playing it in a tactic setting through a tactics lens. I think that sounds fun. So I'm gonna continue building this. I'm gonna try and make it as fun as possible and uh, we'll, we'll see what I can cook up, huh? Now everything was going pretty steady, but then I came across a very interesting problem. If I'm gonna use a probability system for scoring, how am I going to go about getting that scoring probability? Because if I make the shooting follow a pre-calculated path, sure, that's easy. Either the path is correct or it's not correct. But how boring is that, am I right? All right, so I started to freak out a little bit about making the, the shooting uh, deterministic, meaning that like I have control over if it goes in or not, right? But I wanted to keep it physics-based because it's fun to watch the unpredictable nature of a physics-based system just slush around before making a shot. No, for real, watch this and you be the judge. Ugh. Delicious. And that's when I thankfully came across the saint, the deity, the maverick, Sebastian Leg. He has, of course, a masterful tutorial on how to make deterministic ballistic arcs. Yeah, check this out. This is, this is just awesome. I can make 100% of the what? shots if I want to. I can do rim, make what? all of those shots. I can even switch it to the backboard, what? bank some shots off the backboard. What? Yeah, I gotta say, Sebastian Leg, hats off to you, man. It is incredible little piece of code here and the best part is it's all still using physics which is which is pretty what? goddamn cool and we were steady headed in a good direction but i had completely forgot to consider the shooting probability that we talked about and now we have a pretty big issue now that the shooting what? is reliant on physics we have to figure out some creative way to accurately calculate the shooting probability. And so I spent many hours experimenting, just trying to figure out what to do. All right, so I think that I have came across an interesting solution on how to go about getting the probabilities 
uh, for the shot. It's kind of jank. I'm not entirely sure how much I like this. I really don't even know what I'm doing, to be honest, but uh, I'm just trying to finish something. We gotta get this finished. So check this out. This is what we got, all right? So I can move anywhere in the map, and then if I shoot it, you can see that sometimes I'll make it, sometimes I won't, right? But the thing is that, like, at least my current vision for the game, I need to be able to, like, present the player with the probability on if they'll make it or not. And so I thought of a few different ideas, and this is just, like, the best quick solution that I came up with. I would just simulate the shots in the background, as you can see what happens here. Just simulating a bunch of shots and calculating the percentage of all the ones that made it. So then we can present that to the player and say, like, if you shoot it from here with all things considered, you'll have a 52% chance of making it, right? And I say, oh, 52 is pretty good. It's like flipping a coin. I shoot it and... I missed oh well and and what i like about this this system is that it allows you to use actual physics like the physics simulation to shoot the ball yeah it just it just feels cool it feels exciting you know i don't know that's where i with this uh i'm gonna keep moving forward now Okay, so I made a terrible, terrible mistake. All right, I'm gonna show it to you. And I want you to post in the comments below if you can see what it is. Here we go. Did you catch that? Now look, I know this may seem like a minor point, but hear me out, all right? The main menu is controlled by the mouse, but the game menu is controlled by the keyboard. Over the last couple days, I've been kind of brain fogged, just aimlessly adding things to our little basketball RPG, not really sure what to do next, until I came across this mistake. It just hit me, and it's like obviously clear now that I don't have a design document for this project, so much so that I don't even know what target platform I'm making this game for at the moment, which allows mistakes like this to happen. And if there's one thing that I've learned in my many years of coding, it's that no design doc equals guaranteed brain rot. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take a step back here and make a design document for this project. Okay, 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 I got it, I got it. So, the design document is, it's completed. Let me walk you through this real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna run this really quickly, I'm not trying to bore you, but the first that I had to figure out was the various actions that you can take on offense and defense. Some of these will give you success probabilities, just meaning like what's the probability of you actually pulling this move off, and those probabilities will be determined by these variables, so distance to the goal, distance to your opponent, things like this. And I basically just did like a few simulations on what to do in various scenarios, just to really flesh all this out. I think it should work out fine. And so with all that considered, I am now just gonna put my head down into the sand and work on getting this finished so that we can have a basketball RPG game, huh? Yeah. All right, look, I'm gonna give it to y'all straight, okay? I tried to design this game in such a way in about a week or so's time, it'll be done. But please forgive me for I have sinned. Feature creep is one hell of a truck. It's over two weeks time and this game still isn't done yet, but it's almost done, so let me update you. This project has everything that you'd expect. Graphics? Bam. Sleek UI? At least I tried. A roster full of unique characters? You're goddamn skippy. A campaign mode? Haha, <laughs> yeah, I went all out on this one. And of course, gameplay? Haha. <laughs> absolute banger. First off, you might notice that not all the actions from the concept made it into the final. It just be like that sometimes, you know? But long story short, there are two modes, offense and defense. On offense, you simply just want to get as open as possible and as close as possible to the basket so that scoring becomes easier. And I had to ditch the scoring probability discussed earlier. I just couldn't think of an effective way to simulate shots in the background fast enough. So this new system called the shot difficulty simply just represents how much noise is being added to your shot arc. Zero means the ball arc will go right through the hoop, and a full bar means throw the ball up and cross your fingers. And while on defense, you simply just want to do whatever you can to prevent your opponent from scoring. And you can do this by stealing the ball, distracting your opponent, or by just staying as close as possible, because that makes their shot difficulty go up. And honestly, it doesn't really get any more complicated than that. All right, and the game is done and ready for release. However, we have one final issue. So I've done some play tests and it just doesn't feel RPG enough. What's an RPG, I ask you, without that overly dramatic RPG flair? Look out! Wow! This is not happening. It can't be happening. 
They'll pay for this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sorry, don't mind me. I just had to go RPG mode to show this off real quick. So now the project is fully complete. Some of that glorious RPG polish that I added include things like a dynamic shot cam, anime speed lines, particles, dramatic cutscenes, colorful explainer text, and now it's banging. Now, my bags and baguettes, if there is one thing that I ask of you, it is to go to that link in the description and play Basketball RPG. It's available on Android and I should have a web build up. And I'm looking to get an iPhone version up, but I just can't stand Apple economies are so annoying. But just play for a bit, enjoy yourself, because when it's all said and done, that's the reason why I made it. And if you wanna buy the ad-free version to support your boy, you know I love you. Lastly, let me know what you think about this project and if we should continue it. Maybe you want me to add like, online multiplayer or maybe like a full five versus five mode or maybe even bring force into the picture and add some machine learning to it depending on your support comments i may do a part two. Oh, and for everyone that's asking about updates to the quormon game that we started during the pandemic i actually have it check this out so i'm just gonna load a quormon and show you all the new features oh 